Let's talk about EPKs. A good EPK can be the difference between your music being played on dozens of radio stations, being featured in countless blogs, getting interviews, and ultimately booking bigger and better shows and festivals. A bad EPK can mean that you get none of those opportunities. So what is an EPK? Well, it stands for Electronic Press Kit, and ultimately it is just a digital document that you will use to send to different press outlets and radio stations in an attempt to get them to feature your music, add it to their playlist, play it on their radio station, or maybe to get you a show at a venue, a support slot with a bigger artist, or to book a festival slot. So why are EPKs important? Well, the reality of the situation is that any noticeable press outlets, including blogs, magazines, newspapers, radio stations, playlisters and promoters that put on shows will more than likely get dozens if not hundreds of emails from artists every single week. So first impressions matter. If you email them an EPK that looks like it's been designed by a five-year-old on Microsoft Paint, straight away they are not taking you seriously. and They're going to hit the delete button and get rid of your email forever. However, if you send them a really well-designed EPK that looks professional, has all of the information and links that they need to be able to contact you and feature you, then they straight away are taking you much more seriously and they are more than likely going to at least listen to your music. It is then up to your music to do the talking and inspire them to reach out and want to feature it. But the EPK is vital at getting you a foot in the door and maybe getting them to listen to 10 to 30 seconds of your song. So how do you design a good EPK? Well, I've put together a completely free template that you can use and create an incredible looking professional EPK that has all of that information and you can create and design this within minutes. Let's go and take a look and I'll talk you through it. So the first thing you need to do is click the link in the description below and then you will be emailed a link to this template on Canva. Now, if you don't already have an account on Canva, you can sign up completely free. You can sign up with Canva themselves or you can even continue with Facebook or Google. Once you are in, then you'll be able to see this template here and you'll be able to fully customize it. Now, this is the layout that I recommend. Obviously, you can drag and drop things wherever you want. If you want to customize it, you want to change up the design. You can change fonts, you can change colors, you can even change the background if you want. You can include different elements and things over here. You can make it your own. However, there are some notes of key information that you should be including. So the first thing to do is to put a banner image right across the top. You can even design one of those in Canva if you really need to. If you have a logo, then you could put that somewhere on the banner. You might have an image of yourself here or your band and then the logo just over to the left. You then need your artist name, nice, big and bold up front. So there's no question what you are called. And then we have the bio. So what's your name, where are you from and what is unique about you? You need to hook the reader in and encourage them to want to read further. What are one or two of the most notable moments of your career? Have you won any awards? Have you been featured in any really big blogs, playlists or magazines? Have you done any really amazing gigs? That would be something to mention here. And finally, who are you influenced by and why should people listen to you? If you're sending this off to a radio station and they can see that your influencers are regular artists on there, then they know it's a good fit. If you're a heavy metal band and you're sending to a radio station like Capital that play pop music, then that's not a good fit. So that information just needs to be clear. We're then going to choose two releases to feature here. These could be your latest releases or they could be the releases that you are most proud of. Perhaps you've had a song go viral or a song that has been particularly well received or one that's just really, really great with a great production and a great mix. Those are what you're gonna showcase here. We can include the artwork. You should make the artwork clickable so it goes through to your song on Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube. And then again, we have your artist name and song. Again, hyperlink this text so people can click on it and be taken straight through. And underneath, just a little bit of information. So what is the significance of the song? What's it about? Any noticeable achievements from the release? Did you get 50 radio stations to play it? Did one of the biggest mainstream stations in your country pick it up? Did you have any other press or any interviews around it? We then move on to the second page and your EPK should be no more than two pages long. 
The next section is looking ahead. So what is in the immediate pipeline regarding upcoming music? What's your next track called? What's it about and when will it be released? You don't have to give a specific date, but you can give a ballpark. Maybe say it's out in the spring or it's out in the winter, for example. Then you should include plans for further ahead. So what are your plans for the rest of the year or next year? Anything else notable in the works? Have you got any interviews, any radio or podcasts lined up? And any shows? Do you have any shows coming up? Where can people see you play? The next bit is an opportunity for you to put your most recent press release. So if you've appeared in any newspapers, if you've given any interviews, you can put an image or a screenshot of the article here. Make sure it is hyperlinked through to it. And to the side of it, just a little bit of information. Who was it? What did you talk about? Where can people find it? Then we have social media and contact information. You can make all of these clickable. You could include an email address or a manager email address here as well if you want. And then finally, we have some images. You should include an image here of you or your band. Make sure it is a low file size though, just for the EPK. We don't want the EPK to be a big document that you can't attach to emails. You need to keep the file size down. However, you can make these images hyperlinked through to a high-res copy of that photo that you store on Dropbox, Google Drive, or wherever you like. So that if anybody that you send your EPK to decides to feature you, they've got immediate access to a high-res image that they can use. Once you have filled all of that out, you're going to have a really great-looking EPK. Then we just need to download it. So you can go to Share up here in the corner, hit Download. And we need to make sure that you are exporting it as a PDF. The reason for that is because PDFs will be clickable. All of the hyperlinks that you have put throughout this document, people will be able to click on it. And that's not the case if you export as a JPEG or a PNG. So make sure it's a PDF. It will download as one document with two pages and it's good to go. You can attach it to emails and start sending it out. So to get designing your EPK, hit the link in the description below. You will be sent a link to this Canva template. If you don't have a Canva account, you can sign up for free and you will have an amazing looking EPK that will stand out amongst all of the rest that will give you much better chance of getting radio play, blogs, interviews, and getting bigger and better shows.